Jays win 11 to 3 over the Philadelphia Phillies. We said it. They needed to win that. Stroman needed to have a good game. Went well. Stroman pitched well. He didn't pitch great, but he pitched well. Well, actually, he was dominant through the first like four innings. He was very, very good. And he got the job done. Offense came through, got on the rookie. That's what we needed. We needed to get on that rookie, and we needed to beat him down. And they did just that. Two and two-thirds innings, nine hits, eight runs. See ya. But now, we tied up the series. Great. But now, we've got to win the series. So that takes tonight. Um, you've got... We got Estrada going to the mound. So right there, you have a good, good chance of winning that game. But let's talk about that last night's game, or yesterday afternoon's game. It was a good one. Everyone, everything was just kind of going like this. It was clicking nicely. And you know, you had you had uh, Donaldson going three for four, five RBIs, good stuff. Edwin continues to rake the ball. He's now hitting two fifty. Donaldson's average of 263, if I'm not mistaken. Much better. Kevin Pillar's been hitting the ball well. He's hitting 260 now. Um, and, I mean, really not much else to, to talk about. Martin, Russell Martin's now hitting 210. After he was struggling to hit 150, he's now hitting 210, so it's good to see him starting to come around. Um, the one thing I want to keep harping on, though, is Aaron Loop. He sucks. He really does. I know it was, in, you know, we were killing them, and and you throw him in there, but he gives up a home run. Like, are you kidding me? You're garbage. <laughs> You're absolute trash. That's why you just got sent down to Buffalo. Aaron Loop just got sent. Oof. But hopefully Brett Cecil can get better, though. That's that's what we're hoping for. He is returning. He is throwing off a mound now, so that's that's really good news. Tulowitzki's going to start his uh, first rehab game after. Reaggravating, not re-injuring, re-aggravating um, that injury. He's going to be playing tomorrow or tonight. Sorry, he's going to be playing in that rehab game tonight in Class High A Dunedin. So it's good to see him coming back. But overall, it was a good good day yesterday. Jays kicked some butt. Uh, Gavin Floyd had a had a clean inning um, in the ninth. He he needs to, you know he needed a rest. He's an older guy. He was getting used a lot. And now he's just coming in once in a while to kind of get some work in. It's good stuff. We rest a lot of it. We rested a lot of pitchers yesterday. I'm really happy about that because it went. Oh, excuse me. Stroman for seven. Loop for eight. Floyd for nine. You didn't use any of the big guys at all. Good stuff. And Grilly's had a couple days off now, so that's that's good. Now we're traveling to, traveling to Philly. I'm not too worried about the game today. Jeremy Hellickson's going for them. And obviously we have Estrada, so there that's a winnable game. But tomorrow, you've got J Hap, who's been scuffling lately. He hasn't been looking too great, but luckily he's playing the Phillies. Against rookie, very, very good pitcher, Aaron Nola. And he's been fantastic. So it's not going to be an easy win in the finale, but you gotta to win tonight, though. Because you win tonight, you at least Split the series, and I don't want to split, but you gotta win this. You gotta win today to win the series. Bottom line: Jeremy Hawkinson, Marco Estrada, seven oh seven start. Can't wait! I'm literally like counting down the time. It is two fifty one right now. So a long way to go before your uh, first pitch, but you know what? You know what? I'm happy because the Jays are five games over five hundred. Boston lost yesterday to Baltimore. See that that, that that series is kind of like a it's a, it's a win lose, you know. You win because Boston dropped a full game now because now they're only two games ahead of the Jays. But Baltimore jumped that half a game, three games now. But you know what? Three games is 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 nothing because we play Baltimore this weekend, right? We have a three game set against them this weekend. The Jays have to win these next two games. And the Boston Baltimore series has to go a two to one. Doesn't matter which way it goes, it has to be a two to one. 
because a sweep doesn't really help us much. I mean, it does. I mean, we will tie Boston if Baltimore finishes them off, which is great, and we'd have the, the advantage because we beat them in the season series, and great, but we want to gain as much ground possible, right? So if Baltimore and Boston go to a 2-1 to one series, whoever wins it, actually, if Baltimore wins a series 2-1 to one, and the Jays win the next two games, this is how the standings will look. Boston will only be one game ahead of the Jays. One game, and Baltimore will only be two games ahead of the Jays. If Baltimore sweeps them, and then we take the rest out of Philly, we will be tied with Boston, but Baltimore will be three games ahead. We want to have as much ground covered on both teams. So Baltimore won yesterday, David Price lost. And now, now you've got to, now we want Boston to win today. Because that would be fantastic. Because that means we'd be, if the Jays would win and Boston would win, that means the Jays will be two games behind both teams. Two games! But we got to win today. The Jays have to win today. They lose and one of those teams win. If Baltimore wins, they're a four-game lead over the Jays. That's huge. But nothing we can do about that game. we got to focus on the Jays. Marco Estrada. Jeremy Hellickson, 707 start on Sportsnet. Can't wait. We'll talk to you guys later tonight about hopefully another W.